Hey guys, I'm Joey. Welcome back to Over the Tables Random Reviews. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you take a second and click that subscribe button down below because I'm doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers and I got a lot more videos coming out to you guys and you don't want to miss out. Now today's product, what we've got is a carabiner and a knife in the same product. I got this thing on eBay for just about a dollar, so it's very budget friendly. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out. All right guys, so here is our product. Now it doesn't come in your standard eBay packaging, it doesn't have the bubble wrap and it's not the lighter gray, so it doesn't offer that kind of protection, but I'm sure you don't really need protection for a product like this. Let's use our $1 keychain key knife to open this thing up. So it does come protected guys. It has this nice little foam on the outside, which is uh, great. That's a great little feature to keep anything from scratching up or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open that up now. And boom. Now we just have one little last plastic piece to take off. And here is the product. As you can see, it's got that black coated metal on the outside. The knife blade, of course, is your standard stainless steel. And you've got your carabiner type clip on the end there. It seems to be pretty well constructed. You can see the, the little star head rivets or screws in there. So I guess you could tighten it up if you need to, if it starts to loosen up over time. Interesting. I do like that it's not a serrated edge because I personally do not like serrated edges. I just like straight edges with a nice sharp blade. As you can see, it does have a safety. It locks in place using this lever right there. So if you push it to the side, the blade will be able to come back down and it'll lock in place once it's there. So the blade does not, no matter how much force I put on it, the blade will not close down on your fingers, which is definitely very useful. Now the fit on the hand, it is a little small, but you could see it's got like the groove here where your finger could fit right through and your groove there on the back to keep your thumb from sliding up. It does kind of fit in the hand pretty nice. If I had smaller hands, I'm sure it would fit a little better, but if you needed to like hold it for cutting and stuff, it actually isn't too uncomfortable. It works, even though it's got very minimal material, it still is comfortable. This uh, carabiner clip, it, it almost seems like it's made out of a paper clip, but I'm sure it actually is pretty durable. The, the most durable part you need is this part up here that's gonna be holding most of the weight of whatever it is that you've got mounted up or whatever it is you're hanging on it. I do love the black design, but it does come in multiple colors. So if you wanted to get a blue, green, red, whatever color you want, you definitely can add whatever kind of style it is that you need for your outdoor activities. This thing would be very useful for a hiking situation or if you're going camping, you just need a small little tool, a small little knife. It's got a little carabiner on it so you can just clip it right onto your pack right onto your survival kit, wherever you need to clip it onto, it'll clip right on. So let's go ahead and test out the sharpness of this blade, see how it comes standard, and see if it's actually razor sharp. All right, so we're gonna do the paper test to find out how sharp this thing really is. And that is not a good sign. It's not horrible. This thing's not, it's not razor sharp by any means, but um, definitely very sharp uh, as far as point wise. But when it comes to actual slicing, it's not the sharpest thing as you can see it's making tears. And if you compare that to other knives and the other knife videos that I've reviewed, you can see what the difference is between razor sharp and not razor sharp. So this thing is not razor sharp, but it is sharp enough to where you could probably whittle down a stick to a point, whatever you need in certain situations. You could definitely sharpen up the blade. I did review a knife sharpener in another video. It didn't necessarily work with a thin blade like on the credit card knife, but on a slightly thicker blade like this is, it might just give you a nice edge. It packs up really small. The thing's about two inches across. I mean, for a dollar, you really can't beat the uses that this thing has as a carabiner and a knife all in one little package. 
Very small, very compact, very light, nothing too heavy about it. I'm sure the heaviest thing is the blade, but everything works out really nice and it turns out to be a pretty great product. Now, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click right there below so you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm doing. If you click right up there, I've got the last video of the last product that I reviewed. And if you click over here, I've got the playlist of all different types of budget-friendly products that I reviewed. I hope you guys have a great day and don't get shot.